recording for about like 15 minutes until I realized I didn't push the record button. That's the plot of a man who talks to his camera. Fine. This wall in front of me got a hell of a lecture for, for this whole busting episode that j didn't really happen after that. Anyone who reminds me that I forgot my lighting, uh, you go get an earful because I don't want to hear and I know a lot of people don't care, but some people get real pretty. Like, your lighting's terrible. Your lighting's terrible. There should be a shadow on one side of your face. If you're going to talk to your camera, do it professionally. I don't care. Those people that all got out of like film school or some shit, man. Some shit. Shut the fuck up, Doc. Are you kidding me? You, know, you want me to worry about lighting? Why don't I, just, why don't I stop there? Why don't I just fucking put on makeup like, like everybody else? So, I forgot to press record. What did I talk about? Talk about how you guys get in relationships without get your artillery right because you get with some bitches you might as well be going to war I said you guys might think whole busters you're just for single guys not the case because whole busting should be used in relationships seeing how you guys like a, got verbal agreements it's basically a marriage that you guys didn't know you got into but the bitch know you guys got into it uh, Cause they know they playing Mary, when it's on day terms. That's how they look at it. Um, you can't cheat on them, really. I don't. Well, 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 if we're not married, why can't I just like do my thing, and we'll feel things out? Okay, we in a relationship, but we're feeling things out because we're gonna see if we want to take this next step. Nope. You get in, you already took that next step, and if enough time go by, she's just gonna expect that ring to magically appear on her finger, and if you don't put it there, she's gonna get mad at you for the men who are in um, good relationships and don't really have to worry about running the game too much because they with a good chick. Okay, this video may not be for you, but for the other 99% of men who is in relationships and do have to play the game right, it'll help you, but they basically to identify it for you. Damage control. Because you can't undo what a bitch expects in a relationship. If you were with a bitch and you're in a relationship, you can't undo that because she already got everything set up, okay? I can do this, I can do this, I expect him to do that. I can't undo that. Very, uh, I don't think there's too many men in the history of mankind. Once in a relationship and you got all the gears rolling, how she want, you can't undo that. So like I said, it's to identify damage control so you don't make a bigger mistake because then, like, some guys got, got like a curfew that in relationships some man expected to pay all the bills you know when you got all these responsibilities to this female you're not even married to you need to take a step back and be like you know what with this invisible contract that we got going I really need to kick back because it don't exist I might as well be bowing to fucking smurfs over here on my free time you know they don't exist I'll ride a pink unicorn down the street and I feel like it you know it makes just as much sense to me So saying that, we got all those responsibilities to make those easier. You gotta get shit straight before you even think about getting in a relationship with a female, because once you make that mistake once, she gonna expect you to make that mistake a million times because you're gonna bring it up. Like let's say, um, if you pay a female cell phone bill once, even if it be by like you know being courteous or for her birthday, right? You ain't even with her yet. You're not even with her yet. And you've already created that um, that benefit for her, okay? So pay her cell phone bill once. She gonna oh, he paid my cell phone bill once. Okay, three four months later, she might pretend like she broke. See if she get you to pay her cell phone bill again, okay? Oh yeah, and you think oh, I did it once, not big deal. You know, I paid the time. She conditioning you to pay her cell phone bill, and you're not in a relationship with her, okay? And you the dumb fuck who offered to pay for it in the first place, okay? You never really go out of your way to please a female. This ain't the good old days. And the romance movies, they don't exist, okay? Not in everyday life. They might exist for a day, a week. But they really no happy ending. They ain't no Cinderella's up in this. And you ain't no not shining armor driving a pumpkin carriage, okay? Let's be realistic about this. You, you could hope. And there's always an exception to the rule.
but you know some you know there's always people who win the lotto you gonna buy a hundred dollars worth of lotto tickets today now if you're smart you can create the right habits with a female before you take another step all right it's just not being a wuss man you know you don't have to buy chicks and stuff all the time they because they're going to expect it you don't have to do them favors all the time because yeah they might be all happy you know for a day but then they become to expect it you get in a relationship with a chick who expecting then she's going to expect more and more and more and what happens she tricked you into being married and you're not even married okay yeah you got tricked hey all of us have man and if you're smart you're going to learn from it if you're smart gonna be the less time you get tricked and if you watch this video you should never be tricked again and if you do I'm gonna make fun of you and if you do don't tell me because I'll make fun of you and if I make fun of you once you already created that habit I'm gonna make fun of you twice I'll make fun of you three times and I'm gonna keep doing it and you're gonna expect me to make fun of you come on dog these videos isn't about disrespecting a chick these videos is about doing things right but not putting your nuts in her little purse you know because um, when females they get cocky these days they get bigger purses you know that means they got more nuts in there and uh, you don't know it and you're gonna be played a fool if you keep trying to be the nice guy nice guy to finish last yeah that's true but a smart nice guy always finish first if you do it right kinda something most got better chances of it well just like I said that, that invisible contract don't exist so anytime a female would be trying to hold me to that to do stuff as if we were married but we're not married but she want to pretend like we're married I'm like whoa so fuck down count this shit down okay alright let's just take a step back and look at it for what it is oh no let's, let's little by little okay calm fuck down alright let's think rational what did I do and what are you mad about okay yeah we can't, we can't be having that okay yeah I'll, you know what I want to take a step back uh, I'll give you a couple of days off, uh, let it marinate with you, and uh, see if you feel the same way. And if you do, then you know what? I can't be listening to you bitching at me, because uh, I, I dropped out of school a while ago. And uh, I don't need to shoot it. Right. I'm just kidding. I graduated, but she'll get the point.